In this video, I'm going to be addressing a couple of questions some people have asked me about the ATEM and just show you some other features that you can use with it to hopefully make your live streaming at your church service just a little bit better. So let's go. Hey folks, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I have a comment from a subscriber here, a Mariel a Gator, I guess. I'm sorry, I'll put it here on the bottom. But um, they're pretty much saying that they're um, just starting to record sermons and we'll start streaming to Facebook Live. Congratulations, please make sure if you're just now starting to list your church and your stream on our 2020 goals so you can help <laughs> be a part of the 1,000 new churches that we're trying to help get live streaming. I appreciate that. Um, but they are, he's currently doing picture in picture with the A10 Mini with the preacher and his PowerPoint in the corner using OBS and he wants to know would I be willing to demonstrate how to do this with the A10 Mini and to be able to adjust the picture in picture to the size my preacher desires. Um, and they said that I've convinced him to get an A10 Mini and it's a great tool and all this other stuff. Hey, thank you so much. That's what we try to do. Show all this new technology and show you that technology is simple and it's a great tool to utilize in the church. So what I'm going to do is let's go over here and I just happen to have this fun little scripture over here up on the screen and let's bring that up. All right. So I am using Worship Extreme right now and I'm going to use just a regular old um, picture in picture here. So if I show the desktop here, I'm just going to turn on picture in picture right here. And now you see my picture here, excuse all the mess here. Rode wireless, yay. Um, but if we cut back over here and we put our picture in picture, hey, now you can see us. Now, what they is want, what he wants to know is how do you adjust this instead of just using these buttons? Now, let me go ahead and tell you this right now. If you're using the controls right here, these are static they always have the exact same setting. So what you're seeing right now, the size of this picture in picture, if you use the ATEM buttons directly, it will always switch back to the default unless they've changed it. And, but of me doing this right now is January 18th, 2020. Anytime I make adjustments in the software, which is what we're gonna be doing, if you come in and touch this, this is gonna override whatever you do. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to the computer and you're going to need to download the most recent version of the ATEM switcher software. And to do that, you just go over here to Blackmagic Design. And then we're going to go to support. And then we're going to go over here to ATEM Live Production switchers and right now the highest version is 8.1 that is what i am using right now so you go ahead and download that now i already have that here so let's go ahead and move this over so here's the software so this is what you're going to need to do this all right so i have picture in picture turned on you just noticed that here so what we're going to do is that is a part of your upstream key and that's where these settings are. So by default, they use 0 0.2, 0 0.2 on your size, and this is your static position. If I change this in any direction here, you'll see this change. And it just moves me all over, and the numbers, as you see, change based on this. Now, you can change these numbers any way you want to, but like I said, so if I come in here and say, I want to do this as 0.4, instead and it's linked over here so it's going to change the size and as you can see from the screen it changed the size so let's move this over some and we're going to bring it down some all right so see now we've adjusted this to negative 9.5 and 5 on the y-axis 
and from our XY size is 0.4. That's what we have it saved as. But if I come in here, like I'm showing you, I come over here and press this button here. Let's bring this back up and watch. When I hit one of the pre um, buttons, adjusting buttons, you see it resized it and you saw it changed the numbers. So what these adjustments that we're getting ready to do, it has to be done in software and you cannot use the console because if you do, any of those picture in picture controls outside of turning it on and off are gonna wipe out these numbers, all right? Because there's no way currently to go in and pre-program or change the program of these buttons. Hopefully they'll change that sooner or later, but as of right now, you can't do that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this out of the way and all I'm gonna do is adjust these settings here. And let me bring my camera back up and put it where I want to. So I wanna actually start right here because I'm using the reference and I don't wanna get in the way. So I like that point four. So I'm gonna adjust that. And we're gonna do slide me over, slide me up. And I like this. See, this is gonna be a good way if I was gonna do scripture. Now again, if this was a long scripture, this might not work, but I'm just saying for right now, this works. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back over here. Now, what do we do if we wanna, if we wanna keep these settings? What you're gonna do is come over here to file, and we want to save as the entire setup of this and it's going to save every setting that goes along with this configuration you can do this by date or you can set it as default so i'm just going to say call this test um picture in picture and save it wherever you want to and let me save it to my documents i think that'll be easier and i already have an auto save that's for my full atem i don't want to do that there so let's go ahead and save that so it's going to set save everything in here all of our settings everything like that so if we go ahead and just save boom there we go now i could have came down here and set all of these to any different type of position but again using the settings like this in the atem software it will save anything that you configure so you can configure it any way you want to macros all that fun stuff that we haven't gone over yet so now if i come over here and press this button now See, it just changed the size because I hit the key button here on, um, I changed it to the lower left and that's what it resized what we had with our picture in picture. But if we come back in here, we're gonna go to file and restore and this would be the habit of if you're gonna do this in church is especially if you've saved this already, we're gonna open up the software on any computer that's connected um, on the network because I have mine as you see Mine is connected to the network, so any computer I have can connect to it. We're gonna come in here to restore. Let's find that file that we just did. I'm gonna restore that, yes. And now you saw it resize back to what I have, so it's already saved. So now what we would do is now, you can still change your the cameras um, using the buttons here if you want to you can still use this the main thing is you just can't use the position button so i can hit the on and i'm right back in the same size that i want to do and you're good to go you just can't hit the size because if i hit the size as you can see now it just changed back to that size that i didn't really want to do so now if i come back over here all I have to do is restore that one more time. And see, we're back to the same size. So that's the easiest way to do that. Again, yes, it stinks that you, we can't do this using the um, whatever settings that we made. It just doesn't keep those settings inside of the console that you're using with the A10 Mini. But hey, it, it's not a big deal. If you just open this up and actually you can let me actually test this um, too. If we cut back over here, there's also an auto start and you can save the start startup state. And we wanna see if that would just defaultly save these settings and bring it back up. So let me go ahead and restart this and we will test this out ourselves. 
Let me go ahead and shut this down. A few moments later. All right, so we're back up now. Now let's see, I'm not even gonna hit the picture in picture button yet. I just restarted it. I wanna come over here to the upstream keyer. And as you can see, our settings are still saved. So it's saved the startup. So if I do picture in picture now, that works. So again, there's two ways. You can set it as a file and you just restore it, or you can just save the startup state and it will come back with the last settings that you did by default. But again, if you hit the button here, if I hit this button, see where I at the right size, once I hit it, as you see, it got <laughs> wiped out. So we would have to come back over here and do the restore just in this case. But as long as you don't hit that button, you can use everything on the ATEM console here. You just can't press any of the positions because that's what we're going inside the software to adjust. So hopefully that answers your question. I hope that helps. Um, and there's just little stuff like this that you really, once you get the ATEM, you have to work with your workflow. But that's really straightforward and really simple. So again, I hope that helps. So again, if you have any more questions or things that you would like for me to test out with the ATEM Mini, please leave them in the comments. I read all the comments, try to respond back to as many as I possibly can. But we're, we're starting to get a whole lot more people asking questions, so I'm doing my best to try and answer. Um, check look out for my next video that's coming um probably going to be around saturday or sunday next week because what we're going to do is we're going to be building a miniature live streaming system to match this atem mini um, i've been looking forward to this for a long time because the atem mini was meant for me to shrink <laughs> down my whole footprint when I go live streaming events. And hopefully this is gonna answer another question that I got where somebody wanted me to do a full setup for a mobile church. And I think this is gonna be a great system to pair with the A10 Mini. We're gonna be do tons of tests with it, but look out for that. Make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that bell notification. That way you won't miss it when we drop that video for y'all. So again, if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell the way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.